Well, we did it. We are officially back from Hawaii. And we didn't have to do this. Yay! Yay! We're back. I love the snow. Not at all tired of it. <laughs> Not at all. I'm Jameson. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house, left our lives in Southern California, and are headed north to Alaska, where we can be closer to my brothers, Adam and Justin. Today we are going to go meet up with my sister Randy and her boyfriend Calvin, because they happen to be in town visiting from Michigan. So we are going to Humpy's. Humpy's. One of our favorites. Fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips. Eat some fish, uh -huh. have some beers. Oh yeah. Some nice 10:45 uh, a.m. beers. <laughs> Five o'clock somewhere. Three freaking degrees. I had the wrong gloves on for cleaning off the truck. I didn't realize it was as cold outside as it is because all these layers and now my fingers just hurt while they're, they got so cold. Now they're heating back up and they just hurt. I just wanted to stop. We made it. We made it. And I am so hungry. I didn't <laughs> eat breakfast this morning. And uh, so that's partly what's gonna justify my breakfast beer. We always get such good parking when we come to Humpy's, look. We're right there. Humpy's is right there. Several bad puns later. Hope you guys are ready for some board game playing because that's what's going to happen. Okay. Right. No, I would have never guessed that. <coughs> I don't know who that is. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Red hair, he's a singer, very popular. Uh, Ed Sheeran? Yep. yep. Oh, I just said her name. Literally just said her name. Kylie Jenner? Yes. Okay. All right, well, maybe we didn't actually play a board game that night, but we still had a lot of fun. Regardless, we are clearly 100% back in Alaska at this point, and while that's great, it means that we are diving back into all the problems that we had right before we left, namely three main ones. Problem number one is right here behind me. Uh, right before we left, it got so cold that our water froze. We get our water through a heated drinking hose, which is right here, but the spigot can still freeze if the weather gets cold enough outside, even though we're lucky enough to have a heated pedestal in addition to that, even before it froze, I think that the backflow preventer valve was old enough and or the seal on the inside was old enough to kind of create a little bit of a, a, a leak problem. And we had a very slow leak uh, for a few weeks that we didn't notice until a mound of ice started building up under the faucet here. So this problem was getting worse. Uh, right before we left. So we had to deal with it because we didn't want this mound of ice right here getting bigger and bigger while we were gone because it had already completely engulfed the heated drinking water hose um, and was starting to kind of encroach on the trailer a little bit. Plus it's a slipping hazard and, and all that other stuff. We had to take everything apart. We replaced the backflow preventer and the gasket uh, and that fixed our problem. And after we did that, we took some um, kind of silver bubble insulation Wrap that up, held it in place with some duct tape. The leak has stopped and we haven't had a problem since. All right, so that brings me to problem number two, which is right here. That's the outside of our refrigerator freezer and it has not been working for at least a month. It froze a long time ago. We had temperatures down in the negative 15 degree area for about, I wanna say two weeks. So when we got back from Hawaii, uh, just about a week ago now, we decided to try to take some action, especially since the temperature has finally started to go back up. It's the beginning of February, and we're starting to see temperatures in the 20 to 25, maybe even 30 degree range. What I did yesterday is I came out here with a hair dryer, and I just shoved it up into this vent right here and held it there for like a solid 10 minutes. 
Now, I tried this when it was still super cold, right when it failed, back when it was like negative 15, and it didn't work. It was so cold out here that the heating element in the hairdryer couldn't even warm the air up enough to be a significant difference and make any effect. So after being out here for about 10 minutes with a hairdryer on that uh, bottom vent for the refrigerator and on that top vent for the freezer, I went back inside, kicked it on. I actually switched it to propane instead of electric in hopes that kind of some of the heat from the propane would help unfreeze all the mechanical stuff going on in there. Um, and then 24 hours later, we woke up this morning and we were so excited to see that the temperature in the refrigerator had dropped and we actually had ice in the freezer. So we finally got it working again. And that means that we can now take our other freezer out of commission. Let me show you what our other freezer is. Yeah, it's the bed of the truck. <laughs> Okay, and that brings me to the third, well, I'm holding up three fingers, you can't tell. The third problem, uh, and that is our slide cover awnings. See, it gets so unbelievably windy here at times that we've actually broken one of these off of the mount just before we left. So you can see it right up there behind me. I don't know what the wind gusts get up to here, but it's gnarly. It's probably 40, 50, maybe even more. I'm just guessing. But the night before we were supposed to leave, we were sitting inside watching uh, a movie or something and everything's banging around, rattling around like usual. And then all of a sudden we heard something that sounded really different. And what that sound was, was this end of the slide breaking out of the mount that was in. This end of the awning was actually smacking into the side of the trailer. So we had to run out here and uh, actually we had to drag that picnic table all the way around here because this is so high that we can't reach it, right? And we don't have a ladder anywhere. And we finally managed to get some duct tape around the end of it, as you can see there. Yeah, it was an absolute disaster. So as soon as we got back from Hawaii, I grabbed some rope. I grabbed a couple of concrete piers, which you can see right here. And I grabbed some more of the same insulation that we used to insulate the RV and we stuck them underneath the awning between the awning and the top of the slide and then kind of cinched everything down to prevent wind from getting under the slide awnings and tearing them off. It's actually worked really, really well. It's been super windy a couple nights since we've done that and we've been able to sleep really well. We definitely should have done it up front, but we didn't, we thought we would be fine. The good news is that we have all three of those problems worked out and those were really our three main problems. So we're kind of back in the swing of things. Definitely Hawaii vibes gone <laughs> at this point, especially after having to deal with a lot of that stuff when we got back. But now something to get excited about is that uh, coming up in a few days, we are going to be uh, doing some volunteering for the MDA ice fishing event that's going on uh, pretty close to us here. So that should be an exciting little tidbit. Hopefully it's fun. And I don't know what's gonna happen after that, but we'll find out.